Hey guys, I'm back and I'm going to show you guys how to refill your edible ink with the Easy Fill Twist and Pour Edible Ink Refill Pack for your Canon. Super easy, really inexpensive, and let's get started. Alright, so you're going to turn on your printer, you're going to take everything out, and I've already done the most of them just to cut down on time. So, here we go. Let's move this out of the way. That way, you can see what I'm doing. So I have them all right here. And when they come to you full, they look like this. When they're empty, they look like this. Pretty easy to see. So what you do is this little orange piece comes attached right here okay and that seals the back there's a little piece of plastic and it seals it save that save that on the little one just one and save one for the big one I didn't save the big one so I'm going to show you how to do it this way and how to do it this way okay so this one's already full as you can see so I'm going to show you how to do it on let's see we'll do the yellow it's kind of like a little bit empty so you put the orange cap on right you take out the little tiny plastic plug right there okay this one I've already refilled so this is the refill plug that it comes with You get your ink, it comes in a bag with a glove and all your refill plugs. All right. As you can see, I've already used it. You open it up. You place it inside like this and fill it up. That's it. Easy as can be. Fill it up till it's about 20% full. You do not want to overfill it. Once you fill it up, you place the plug back in. Okay. Clean off any excess. And then remove the little plastic backing. Okay. So that's what I've done to all of these colors right here. This one. including the pink one, as you can see. And they all have their tops on. They're all ready to go. I'm gonna move them here to the side. And we're going to do the black. All right, so this one, I do not have a little orange tab for the back. So the instructions say to close it off with paper towels or tape, and I don't have any tape, so we're going to close it off, putting a lot of pressure on the back. And for this one, it had a piece of tape over it, so I removed the piece of tape, removed the plug, as you can see right there, where I removed the plug, and then we're going to get our ink, let me open it up real quick. Okay. Holding with a lot of pressure on the back here, we're going to stick that in and I will show you with, I get a better grip here, holding a lot of pressure on the back and then we are just going to simply fill it up until you hit that almost full mark which is right about there. Now I'm going to stop. And then you can see it starts to soak into that sponge. Oh, and onto the napkin. So I'm not holding it tight enough. Alright. So that's why it's important to keep that little orange piece. And then, oh, and to wear gloves. But I'm a rebel. I don't like to wear them. 
Just kidding. I just didn't want to put them on. Because they make your hands all sweaty. Alright, so that's that. I'm going to clean up my mess here. And we will load our cartridges back in, which is just as easy as taking them out. And if you followed along in my other video, you will know exactly how to take your print head out to clean it super easy. And let's see, that's the black one. So check out my other video. It shows you exactly how to take out this print head and get it super clean and ready to go. So if you have a clog or anything like that. And this way, you can continue using the same cartridges. You don't have to keep paying for extra cartridges to get shipped into you. And if you've ever had the unfortunate task of having to print something and lo and behold, it doesn't print, you know exactly how it feels to be like, oh, I wish I had extra ink laying around. Well, now you can with this handy little kit. Super inexpensive, really easy to use. And now that we had everything loaded in, we're gonna close the top, close that just cause I feel like it. And let me cap my other one back here and we'll do a test print. And I am doing this live with you guys, so we will try and fix if anything goes wrong, but hopefully not. We'll keep our fingers crossed. And let's do a test print. So, and also with this bag comes this, it comes the plugs, it comes instructions, and even more instructions, which I didn't even have to read over because I mean it's really straightforward. All right, so here I have a sheet of edible image paper and I always forget how to load this printer for some reason so I think it goes in like this and it prints like that so I have to put it with the plastic facing up all right put that back into there let me scoot this back so you guys can see it and I use the iPad app so I can just print wirelessly through my from my iPad so I'm gonna print out an image and we're gonna see how good we did. I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos. I'm really enjoying making these tutorials. So I really appreciate the thumbs up. Yes. <laughs> um, it really, I love reading you guys' comments and all that stuff and answering any questions that I can. It's a lot of fun and I'm glad that we have this platform available to us. So it looks like it says processing, please wait momentarily. So it's probably, you know, recharging everything now that it's clean and we have new ink in it. So we'll just give it a minute. And don't forget to click subscribe because I'm going to be, I think I want to do next a cake decorating tutorial. Like maybe some buttercream ombre or buttercream ruffles. I don't know. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments below and I will try my best to get a video made that you guys are requesting. And I also can make, you know, you can do like maybe some enchilada sauce. You know, mix it up. It doesn't have to be just cake decorating stuff, okay? So it looks like it's still loading up. And there it goes. Let's see. Fingers crossed. how it turn out I must say that is pretty awesome as always you guys thank you so much for watching please click the subscribe button and 
stay tuned for my next video. This turned out really good. Thanks, guys.